Good morning, students, and welcome to Report Card Day. Since this is the last day of the quarter, you will each be given a unique report card correlated to the behavior you displayed here over the course of the past few months. Can we just get this done already? We have places to be. In the back alley smoking heroin? How foolish. Anyway, the report cards are as follows. The gold card means you will have no school for 10 years. Silver means you don't have to come to school for five years. Bronze means you won't have to go to school for a year. Green means no school for an entire month. Light blue means you have no school for a week. Light purple means you get tomorrow off. White means nothing happens to you. If you happen to get the orange card, you will have detention with me for a week. A brown card means you will have detention with me for a month. If you happen to get a dark red card, well, I don't want to see your face here for an entire year. Got it? If you get the black card, I'll fucking expel you and maybe kill you with my own bare hands. Prince, can I see you up here first? Hello, Mr. Shapiro. What report card did I get? Prince, you are always here every day on time. You always participate in class and shut Madonna up whenever it's necessary. For your amazing display of decorum and care, I am giving you the gold card. Wait, are you seriously, Mr. Shapiro? This means so much to me, but I would much rather stay here with you. I'm still very happy to receive this honor, though. May God bless you. What a fucking nerd. Just wait until I get to you, Madonna. Anyway, Dave, it's your turn. Hey, Ben, how are you doing? I'm happy to give you the silver card, Dave. You're always so participative in class and give a helping hand when necessary. I'm sad to see you go, but you deserve this. This is so cool. Thank you, Ben. This is a great surprise. I'll check in from time to time. Good luck with everyone. Much appreciated, Dave. You can head to the principal's office to get your reward. See you later, alligator. Mr. Beast, come on up. What report card am I receiving today? You have earned the bronze card, Jimmy. You really don't do much, but when you give the others thousands of dollars to stay focused on their schoolwork, it really helps. That's just pennies to me. I'm happy to give everyone a boost of motivation. It was nice working with you, Mr. Beast. You too, Mr. Shapiro. You can head to the principal's office to receive your reward. Taylor, may I see you now? Hi, Mr. Shapiro. Which report card is mine? The green one. Taylor, you always come into this classroom with a willingness to learn and engage in sessions. There hasn't been a day where you weren't ready to learn. I'm always open to learning new things. I know we don't agree on everything, but if you bring your A-game every day, I should too. Well, I hope you can shake off any stress you have over the next month and come back to shine even brighter than before. That sounded so cringy, Ben. What the hell was that? Shut up. It's been a pleasure, Ben. I'll see you soon. Sure, you're up. A week off school. That is pretty good. I know you usually don't care for school and your education, but you always try to adapt and learn. You always have high grades, and you're slowly becoming one of my favorite students without even trying too hard. Congratulations. He is just simping, Cher. Shut your plastic-filled mouth. Just ignore her. That is what I have been doing the past half of a century. Yeah, right. I'm going to head out now, but thank you, Ben. I'll see you next week, Cher. Have a great vacation. Ron, it's your turn. Ron, you sometimes interrupt me when I'm talking, but I'll let that go. You are a skilled politician who has great insights, and maybe you need a little help from time to time. You are still a great student. Much appreciated, Ben. It is a great honor to receive this honor from you, and I would like to thank you for this. Oh my god, this guy sounds like fucking ChatGPT. He has literally no personality. Not another word, Madonna, or I will throw your ass into the next dimension. Madonna, saying things like that hurts my feelings. I would prefer if you stop saying such inappropriate things to me. Thank you for hearing me out. You're just proving my point. I'll see you in two days, Ron. Freddy, can you come up here, please? Hey, Ben, which card is mine? You get the white card, Freddy. You are fun to be around and get high grades, but maybe show up more often. I hate it when you sleep in half the time after partying the entire night. But I'm Freddy Mercury. If I'm not living life to the fullest, then what am I doing? Being a better student. Who says I even need school? I've got millions in the bank, and I can get even more without your help. Can you just go and take a seat, please? Since you have the white card, nothing will happen. Whatever, but you're not invited to my party next weekend. I don't really care. Your loss. Uh, Michael, can you come up here at once? Oh no, did I get the orange card? Yes, you did, Michael. That will be one week's detention for you. What did I even do? Don't make me have to say it. Say what? You get too much plastic surgery. It's to the point where you don't even come in most days because you have to get more surgery. What but I have to? Why? Because I have daddy issues. Oh, I am so sorry, Michael. You should have told me earlier. Yeah, whenever I see him, he always criticizes me on almost everything. At least I can change something so my ears don't fall off. He just complains so much. 
Yeah, I bet the phone lines up to heaven are just that amazing. Excuse me? Your dad died years ago. Go take your seat or I'll just give you more detention. Dang. George Michael, can you please come up here? It's your turn. I hope you're really looking forward to this. I am actually. I bet my card is amazing. Well, that proposition would in fact be wrong. Do you think calling me Ben Spiro is funny? Every time you say my name, that's what you call me. Come on, Mr. Spiro. I mean, Shapiro, you have to at least admit it's pretty creative. What if I started calling you Fatso? I wouldn't like that at all, Mr. Spiro. Uh, then call me Mr. Shapiro, please. Anyway, that is one month's detention. Go to the principal's office to redeem your reward. Or should I say punishment? You're insane. Kurt, I would like to see you next, please. You're in very, very deep trouble, young man. Okay, let's get this over with. I have to be somewhere, Ben. I know. Back home. Do you really think I would let you smoke heroin in the middle of class? Yeah. Of course not, Kurt. And your constant bathroom breaks are only excuses to go and smoke more in the bathroom. If I had permission, I would get the janitor a companion. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. Oh, okay, then you should go work with him then. You have my full endorsement. Okay, Boomer. Don't come back for the next month. Go to the principal's office immediately. Fine. Barney, come up here right now. I don't even know how to start with you. Come on, Mr. Shapiro. I did nothing wrong. Those girls were just asking for it. They were substitute teachers. Did you really think they would want to, to engage in such inappropriate actions with a student like yourself? I mean, I did get their numbers, uh, and I'm not going to confirm or deny if anything happened. But if something did happen, it wouldn't be short of at least legendary. You're disgusting. I'm so happy that I get to give you this dark red card. Deep down, you know this isn't right, Ben. Don't worry, deep down, this is the best course of action I can take. Go to the principal's office immediately. I can't even look at you, Mr. Stinson. Madonna, I think you know it's your turn. What's the damage, Mr. Shapiro? You bullied half of the students in this class. You have refused to do any of your classwork. You have zero care for your education. And I wish you actually had the balls to give a fuck. So what are you trying to tell me? You're the worst fucking student I ever had. I've been working at this job for 20 years to annoy people. But I never thought someone would annoy me. Mood. That is it. You're fucking expelled ten times over. Now I'll give you ten seconds to get out of this room before I kill you right here and right now! Oh shit.